with deforestation rates holding at less than 0.05%. Guyana is a unique story of hope in the face of an accelerating global environmental crisis. Although small, most of this deforestation is driven by Guyana's gold mining sector, which contributes significantly to the country's economy and provides direct benefits to over 15,000 artisanal and small miners. Conservation International Guyana is working with several partners on a responsible mining initiative, RMI. The RMI includes the Planet Gold Guyana project and the Addressing Drivers of Deforestation project, which together seek to increase gold recovery decrease the permanent loss of forest and identify options to reduce and ultimately eliminate mercury use. Hi everyone, my name is Deshaun Belinji, the Chief Technical Officer at Conservation International Guyana. In this video, I will be explaining how to operate three types of equipment that can capture gold without mercury, potentially reduce your operating costs and increase your profits. These pieces of equipment are the gold catcher, the gold cube, and the blue bowl. This is a gold catcher, and like its name, that's exactly what it does. It catches gold. It is a type of gold concentrator that is made from polyplastic and does not rust. It is a simple machine that works with a pump and is easy to set up. All you need is a 220 volt connection and a water source. It can process one to three tons of material, less than three millimeters in grain size, even gold as fine as powdered gold. This piece of equipment recovers about 80% of the gold, but you must know how to operate it properly. This machine is shaped like a barrel and it contains a bowl which has shells called riffles. When you turn it on, the bowl spins and the gold from the material being processed gets caught in the riffles. At the top of the barrel is a strainer which only allows material 3mm or less to be fed into the machine. Anything larger than that would get stuck in the strainer. When adding material, you must continuously add water. The water helps the material to stick to the riffles. Take a look inside. You can see the concentrate from the material process stuck to the riffle. The water inside the bowl can be used to wash out the riffles. There is a plug in the middle of the bowl. Remove it and wash the concentrate into the container under the gold catcher. You can then turn on the pump and thoroughly wash out the riffle. This next piece of equipment is another kind of concentrator called the gold cube. It comes with a 12 volt water pump and requires a small water source. It is made up of three to four shelves which are held in place by a metal frame. The first shelf is called the slick plate. It is smooth and helps to evenly distribute the material as it flows to the shelves below which have mattings. The second shelf has a groove which creates a whirlpool effect to stir up the slurry and causes heavier particles to settle on the mat. It also traps gold nuggets from the material. It functions just like the mat on the sluice box. The gold cube can process 100 kg of concentrate per hour and works best with particle sizes less than 3 mm. This is the blue bowl. It is small enough to fit in the back seat or trunk of a car and light enough so that anyone can carry it. You need current to power it, a small water pump, about a half a drum of water, and a bucket to place the bowl on. It is important that the blue bowl is set up on a flat leveled area or else you can lose gold from the material. The bowl has a hole in the middle and clips under it to keep it steady and in place. 
After setting it up, turn on the pump and bring the water to the bowl. You must allow the water to spin around and swirl up for a bit. Then you can begin adding the material. You must add a little at a time and add it as close as possible to the flow of water in the bowl. The blue bowl can process 1 kg of material per hour and has a high efficiency if the concentrate has particle sizes less than 1 mm. Since gold is heavier than the black sand and other materials, it will sink to the bottom of the bowl. The lighter material will be carried out of the bowl by the whirlpool through the hole in the middle of the bowl. Remember, it is important to feed the material into the bowl slowly and a little at a time. It is best to use the gold catcher first, then you can take the concentrate and further process it through either the gold cube or the blue bowl. Doing this would remove more of the black sand and make your gold more concentrated. We at CI Guyana are committed to working with our partners to find realistic solutions to reduce the impacts of mining in an effort to protect the livelihood of the thousands who depend on the sector.